Hi, it's Alaska Granny. I've been spending some time in the lower 48, specifically in the southwest desert region, and I've discovered that Big Lots is a great place to go to stock up on prepping supplies. Whether you're a beginning prepper or you've been doing it for a long time, we know that we need to be adding to our stockpile. We need to have a variety of items in our stockpile. We need to be rotating our supplies so we don't have spoiled food or outdated medications that aren't safe anymore, things that have leaked, or just items that are no longer useful and we want to replace them perhaps with better items. It's a great idea to walk to this store and think creatively. What can I find? What could I use it for? Would it be something that's helpful in my prepping journey? Let me show you some of the ideas with supplies that I found at Big Lots. First I saw kitty litter. You don't have to have a cat. If you drive in the snow and the ice, keep some of this in your car. You can throw it under the tires so that you can get unstuck. If you need to use a portable toilet, you can add some kitty litter into the bag with the waist so that it'll help keep the scent down and clump it up just like it does for your pets. Bullions and broths are a great thing to add to your prepper pantry. Here are some savory infusions for only one dollar, a roasted chili garlic base and an herb roasted chicken base. They have large containers of freeze-dried minced onions for $4.99. Stovetop stuffing for $1.99. To me, stuffing should cost one dollar, but if you don't have any and you can't find it anywhere else, you can find it at Big Lots. They had turkey and cornbread varieties. Look at the price of canned vegetables. Four cans of kernel corn for $3.50. In some areas, that's a good buy, but in other areas, not so much. Green Giant corn is a dollar each if you buy them singly. They're less expensive if you chose the four pack. Libby's green beans for only 80 cents. Macaroni and cheese Easy Mac cups with unicorns, $3.50 for four. That to me is a very expensive price for macaroni and cheese, but it is convenient. Regular Kraft Mac and Cheese in the Easy Mac was $4.29. That makes the Rainbow Unicorn Mac and Cheese look like a great deal. They also had a deluxe Mac and Cheese dinner for $3. Look how the prices have gone up on pasta sauce for $2.30. The Barilla is gluten-free, non-GMO, and has no preservatives. Of course, it's going to cost more than some other brands. Big Lots had angel hair pasta, one pound bags for $1. Big Lots also had some Barilla pastas for $1.50 a box, and the Hunt's pasta sauces in a can for $1. Those are still a good buy, and maybe they're not your favorite sauce, but they're also a great sauce to add other things to, to make a fancier soup or add meatballs or sausages, then it makes the sauce tastier. Canned meats can last for many years and they can continue to last far longer than the best buy used by sell by date. So never discard food simply because it's out of date, especially if it's meat. So you can find the Armor Treat, which is like Spam. They also had the Beach Cliff Sardines. You can find Kipper Snacks if you like those. Chopped Clams, which clams are nice because if you have some fish broth, some canned potatoes, a can of clams, you can make a nice chowder. Big Lots had a variety of canned chicken, but you can see if one person came in that was shopping for that, poof, they would all be gone because there are barely any on the shelf. Look at the Bumblebee Albacore Tuna, $1.99, and every can looks damaged and rusted. I would never buy these to add to my stockpile because who knows what conditions these have been stored under. Skip these. Pass it by. Make sure you have a variety in your pantry so if you go to the store one day and this is all they have, you won't be forced to take a chance to buy it. There's smoked oysters for $1.89. Darkest Tuna for $1.29, and those cans all look safe. Big Lots had a one pound boneless canned ham from Canada for $4.39. Bush's Baked Beans, now look, the original ones say $2, and over on the side, the country style are only $1.69. So really be looking when you're in the store and see, is there one variety that's still less expensive because prices are shooting up? 
If you've not tried the Bear Creek soup, get some, $3.99, but you only need to add water, except to the chili, you also need to add, I think, tomato paste, but these are wonderful, long-lasting, just add water, boil it up, and you have a nice big meal. I made a video on how you could add to these to make them bigger, better, more delicious meals. I'll put a link to that video in case you're interested in the meals that you could make with Bear Creek soup mixes. They also had plant-based soup, the Pacific Foods Creamy Oat Milk Soup Cumin Carrot Flavor, which is vegan and USDA certified organic. Something I've not seen in a while is the Media Crema, which is table cream. It used to be $1 a can, but now you see it's $1.89. I'll put a link to ways that I've used Media Crema. You can turn it into butter, you can turn it into sour cream, you can make all kinds of things with Media Crema, and it's a great product to have in your prepper pantry because the cans can live in your pantry for several years. Maple syrup is a forever food. Look at this, one quart for only $14. That is a wonderful buy if you are looking for pure maple syrup. If you're on a keto diet, you can find the Lacanto monk fruit sweetener for $3.50. Now look at the olive oil. You can see this one is actually canola and extra virgin olive oil compared to also the olive oil. So make sure you're reading the labels carefully and you aren't just reaching down and grabbing something. Now this was surprising how expensive the A1 sauce is. For 10 ounces it's $4.29. You can choose a smaller bottle at the Dollar Tree for still $1 the last time I was there. Look at the 30 ounces of peanut butter powder for $10. Peanut butter powder is great. There's lots of ways to use it. I'll put a link to a video I made on how to use peanut butter powder. Big Lots had fancy cashews for $6.99. They had boxes of Pop-Tarts, 16 of them for $3. Look at all the varieties of Pringles. I've never even seen this many. $1.79 a can for all kinds of flavors. If you are looking for cheese for your prepper pantry, check out the Wisps. These are little dried all cheese crisps. They're in a Mylar type bag. They're very lightweight because they're dried and they are very delicious. They're $3.29 for a bag and there's more flavors than I've ever seen before. I bought the Wisps before. They're very delicious and great way to have cheese that can live in your prepper pantry. If you haven't stocked up on medicines, you can find some of the over-the-counter ones that you might need at Big Lots, but you can see there are still many gaps in the shelves. Things are thinning out, so make sure that you take an inventory of your first aid supplies inspect them to make sure all of them are still good and safe. I'll put a link to a video I made about some unexpected disasters in my first aid supplies so you can see some things to look out for. Big Lots has all kind of hygiene supplies and they even have the Dawn dish soap which is my favorite. In times of emergency and maybe a grid down situation you may have problems with critters so you may want to get a few Things like roach prisons, mouse traps, mouse repellents, and even some moisture absorbing pouches. If humidity is a problem, you can find some moisture absorbing pouches at Big Lots. These are some of the products that I found at Big Lots that I thought would be good for your prepper pantry and your prepping supply needs. So check it out. See what you can find if there are things that you need to add to fill in any gaps in your prepping supplies. Things are still available, and yes, prices are going up, and we don't really know what the future holds. We keep hearing that there are shortages, it's going to get worse, and so the best strategy, in my opinion, is to stock up on things that you know you will use going forward. And then it doesn't matter if nothing happens, because you can continue to use the things that you have. But if things do go south, and there are more shortages, and things become dreadfully expensive, you know that you'll be able to weather that storm because you laid in a supply when things were available and you could still afford it. If you enjoyed my video, I hope you'll share it with someone else you think might like it. Please subscribe to the Alaska Granny channel.